Hello, welcome to Kitchen Chemistry with Essential Wholesale and Labs. I'm Tinaka, and today I'm going to show you how to make um, a Allen Twain Winter Facial Serum. Uh, Allen Twain is our highlighted ingredient today. It's great for soothing um, wind blown skin, winter wind blown skin. I have to be careful. Uh, FDA regulations uh, limit what we can what we can say about ingredients. So um, anyways, you can certainly research about Allantoin and find out all of the wonderful benefits it has for your skin. Um, this serum is, uh, I've also added ingredients that work with Allantoin and enhance its uh, properties. So um, let's just get started. Uh, you'll need your ingredients, of course. Neroli, uh, distillate and of course you can substitute any of the water phase ingredients with just water if you prefer or choose a different flavor of distillate. Um, I particularly like the Neroli distillate for this because it's nice and orange and in the end the serum will be orange because of the CoQ10 powder we're going to add. So um, you'll need Neroli distillate and deionized water. Um, I chose to mix it so that the serum didn't smell too strongly of Neroli. You'll also need uh, DMAE, you'll need Opti MSM, Allen Toyn, of course, and hyaluronic acid, CoQ10, um, a little uh, rosehip seed oil, some glycerin, vegetable glycerin, and um, of course your preservative, your Optifen Plus preservative. So uh, now that we have our ingredients, let's get started on how to make this. Uh, the first thing you're going to have to do is heat up your water ingredients. So we'll just move our hot plate over here and add our deionized water. If you don't know what deionized water is, please check out our blog and take a read about it. It's um, the best water you can use for making cosmetics. It, it's uh, the least problematic. And then, of course, your neroli distillate. And we're going to heat that up to about 140. One, well, actually, we need to heat it up a little bit higher um, because of the Allantoin. So we're going to heat it up to about 160 so that the Allantoin can fully dissolve. So let's just uh, turn our burner on, and we'll come back when that's all heated up. Okay, while our water's heating up, we're going to pre-mix a couple of ingredients to make them easier to work into our serum. Um, the CoQ10 you want to combine with uh, rosehip seed oil that right in there and we're gonna mix these together and the reason is that uh, CoQ10 is oil soluble and we're making a water-based serum so we need to make sure that we um, uh, mix the oil with the CoQ10 so that it can mix into our serum otherwise we just have suspended CoQ10 in our serum which maybe that's something you want to do but that's not our project today Okay, so we're just going to mix that up and let it sit for a second. So we'll push this one aside. And next, we want to pre-mix our vegetable glycerin with our hyaluronic acid. So this is one method of doing this. You could um, potentially just uh, sprinkle the hyaluronic acid in on top of the water. That's one method that I've shown in other videos. That works as well. Um, I found with this method, though, that it's just a lot easier to um, just pour it right into the water phase, and you don't have to really worry about those fish eyes developing. So we're just going to mix this together. So um, hyaluronic acid uh, will not hydrate in glycerin, but it's dispersed in glycerin. So that's what makes it nice to work into the water phase, is that you're not getting clumps of it hydrating um, outside of your glycerin. We'll just keep working that in. And it will create kind of a paste or kind of a gooey glump. Feel free to add more glycerin if you feel like you need it. Um, I found, I've, I've changed this recipe a couple of times. I found when I added more glycerin than, than I have in the recipe, it felt a little sticky to me. So. Um, that's why I'm choosing to add a little less. So anyways, what you end up with is this kind of paste. So now we'll put those aside. The next thing we're going to do is grab our, our heated up water phase ingredient, and you'll need um, a good stick blender. This is a mini pro blender. Um, a mini pro blender from 
gosh, I'm not sure where we get them, but I'm sure that if you look up Mini Pro online, you'll be able to find a place to purchase these. If you need an industrial blender, um, this is the way to go. So we'll just put that right into our water phase. And we're going to add some ingredients before we add the hyaluronic acid. We're going to add our um, Opti MSM. We'll just put that right in there and give it a mix. And we're going to add our DMAE and give that a mix. And then, of course, the Allantoin. Okay, so you just want to make sure that your allantoin is fully dissolved before you move into the next phase. So I'm just going to keep mixing that and make sure that that gets fully dissolved in there. And I'll move away some of these things I'm not using anymore. And there we go, that looks really good. So the next phase is to add the hyaluronic acid. And this gets a little awkward for me because the blender is kind of top heavy. Um, I kind of you can unscrew it if you feel better about that, but I'm just kind of leaning it against myself to make it stable. And you don't really have to worry about fish eyes, so I'm just going to dump that whole thing in there and get it off my spatula a little bit if I can. There we go. Okay. And now we're going to, this is what's going to make our gel. So we'll just mix that in there. So we get a nice gel. And there we go. Now it's starting to gel really nice. And just give it, you know, just keep mixing it until it hydrates really well. You may have to adjust the speed of your mixer as it starts to thicken. That looks absolutely beautiful. Really nice. Okay, so now we're going to add our CoQ10 and rosehip seed oil. And we'll just pour that right in there. It's going to be so pretty and so bright, and it already smells amazing. Neroli distillate is just one of my favorites. Maybe you have a favorite distillate. I'd love to hear about it if you want to write about it in the comments. We use a few of them here, but I'm always curious about new ones. Um, anyways, okay, let's keep this all mixed in here. Okay, once it's all fully mixed, you of course want to add your preservative. Don't forget that, it's an important part. So we'll just go ahead and pour that right in. Okay, so the final thing that you would want to do with your serum is to check the pH and make sure that it's um, within the, in the range of, of normal, healthy human skin, um, which is be somewhere between 4.5 and 5.5. And uh, this serum, as made, sits at about 4.8. 
Um, so you can adjust it up if you find it's just a little too low for you. Um, adjust it up with baking soda or adjust it down with citric acid or lactic acid. Um, I think it's just lovely how it is. I'm very happy with this serum. I can't wait to pour it off and use it. Thanks for joining us. Be sure to subscribe for more great videos.